We're still in our Revit family for our composite metal deck. What we need to do is save what we've done so far. Now we don't need to save back to the folder. We've already placed it in a known location. We just need to save up here on the quick access toolbar. So that's now saved. Now the good thing is I can now just insert this straight into my Revit project that I've got sitting behind this particular Revit family. Now it's very quick and easy. All we need to do is go to the view tab. Now before we do that, we need to make sure that we've got a family type for this family though. Otherwise it just becomes a generic family. So let's go to the create tab, click here, family types. And I'm gonna click on new for family types there. And we're going to call this one three inches for obvious reasons. I'll click on OK and click on OK. Three inches because it's three inches deep. Now I go back to the Create tab on the ribbon, make sure that I've saved the RFA file, the Revit family, and then I go Load into Project. So that will now load that into my project and it is now loaded. If I come down here in the Project Browser, go to Families, scroll all the way down here to Profiles, and you'll see there I've got composite metal deck and if I click on the plus sign there's the three inch one there. So the properties of that profile are in my Revit project. Now what I'm going to do is go to the structure tab on the ribbon and I'm going to place a structural floor like so. And I'm going to select from the properties just a generic 12 inch floor. Now I'm just going to draw this using the draw tools over here. So we want the boundary line and I'm going to use a rectangle and I'm going to click and drag like that. And I'm just going to make this 10 feet by 10 feet. I'm not going to make it very big. Nice and small, but I can zoom in like so. So there's my slab all neatly placed in my Revit project. Now make sure that you've placed this on the right level. Level 2 is the best level. You wouldn't place a composite metal deck on a ground floor level normally. So what you do now, click on the tick. And that slab is in place. You can see there, look, there's the span line and so on and so forth. So my slab is in place. I'm now gonna go up to the quick access toolbar and click on section. And I'm going to place a section that goes through like so. There's my section there. And what I might do is flip that and just show the crop region like that. I might take it all the way through if you want to. It's up to you. What you're going to do now is change the properties of this slab anyway when you go to the section. So click away from the section marker and that section is now placed in the drawing. Hit escape there. And what we're going to do now is go to that section. So in the project browser, we scroll down. There's our sections, building sections there. There's section one. So I'll double click in there and there's my section. Now this is your crop region. Don't mistake it for your slab. If need be, switch it off in the view controls here. So there's my slab there. I'll zoom in a bit now, make it nice and easy to see. And what I'm going to change is my view controls here and change that to fine, like so. The reason being, when I place the profile inside this slab, you want to be able to see it. If you just leave it set to course, it will just show it as a slab without showing the composite metal decking. So I now select my slab, like so. And here now, what I need to do is edit the type. So I click there like that. Now, I'm going to duplicate it first, and it's going to become six inch concrete on a three inch comp metal deck composite. And there we are. So that's got our new family type in place. Now we need to change the structure settings. So at the moment, we can see what we've got there. We've just got basically a generic slab. There's no information in there at all. If I go here by category and click here, I need to load up concrete. So I go up until I find C. There you go. There's concrete there, concrete precast, cast in place, and so on. So I'm going to go for cast in place like that and click on OK. So that's my structural part, and I'm going to change that there to six inches, and then enter. Now we need to add another structure part there, but it's going to be, instead of just structure, it's going to be structural deck, like so. In the deck profile, I go and find my composite metal deck three inches, profile that I inserted earlier, and then by category, I change that to metal decking. So again, in the properties, scroll down, there's metal deck there, and I'll OK that. Now you can swap these around because obviously the concrete goes on top. So select one here and move that one up because you'd have the concrete on top of the slab with the metal deck underneath. So that is now all updated. All I've got to do now is click on OK and that's finished and it's done there. And when I click on OK again, you'll see that that slab now updates and you can see now, if you zoom in real close, there's your profile. 
that you created earlier in your Revit family. So that's how you create a custom composite metal deck with slab on top, metal deck underneath.